Hello. So, um, I scheduled this for 12.30, so I'm nine minutes early. Um, I don't know if it's going to kick in or not right away. Or what's going to happen. Is it, it, oh, there we go. It's working. Okay. Um, yeah, so I found a druid pelt, a hunter's guys. And it has three to hurricane, three sockets. I'm like, eh, post it on tradery. The offer is two burr rune. So I'm like, oh, okay, let's do that. So, this guy offered me two burr runes for this base. So, I'm just, uh, messaging him back on Tradery. Let's see. He offered it. He said, on my way. All right, yo. Here we go. We're just crushing. We're crushing. Just gotta wait here. <clears throat> he said he's on his way. Yo, what's up if you're just joining? Thanks for checking it out. We've got a few couple things going on here. This her this uh hunter's guy's base is being traded for two burr runes. Someone is supposed to be joining it's in hell difficulty so I wonder if he's anyway and then the other thing I wanted to do is up these boots so I have I do have the uh, materials Lemco perfect diamond so I can up these war travelers to mirrored boots I think it is and that'll give me a little bit more kick damage for my dragon flight which I only have one point into but with our gear when we're fighting and stuff it's actually level 11 so that is 450% damage, you know? So I might as well up these. Make normal. Oh, okay. Let me, uh, I gotta leave the game and make a normal game. Three, hurry. Password one normal create So this guy's just saying he needs to be in a normal game because the runes are on a mule So I just made a new game But anyway, yeah, I can up these boots there he is hey Hmm. Thanks. Two burr runes. Like that, yo. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Is that not just sweet? Dude, we're crushing on this ladder. This has been so good. 
So, um, yeah, now I can use my materials to up my boots as well, which will be cool. So let's let's do that too. All right, so we got a couple burr runes, man. <laughs> All right. That was a really nice trade. I mean, obviously, that worked out so well. Okay, so let's put the War Travelers now in the cube. And up these two mirrored boots. Let's see. Here we go. 50 to 145 kick damage now. Sweet. So that's perfect for Assassin right now. That's really good. All right. Thanks for just, if you're just joining, I uh, started the stream a couple minutes early. Um, I just upped my battle boots to mirrored boots for the war travelers. Oh, you missed what I traded? Oh, hey, hey. Yeah, so I, I went on, I went on tradery and I had a, um, a hunter's guys with three sockets, three to hurricane, and somebody offered me two burr runes. So I, got, I just got two Burr runes, and then I just upped my War Travelers to Mirrored Boots. So we continue to crush. Sneaking a peek at work, can't view long. Yeah, no problem, Nick. VPR says, morning. In other words, you just got a really good deal. Yeah, I think so. It is hard to come across, though, a, a nice base sometimes for a druid you know like especially if you're looking for one you know like you could just be you could be sifting through lots of stuff and then you just are like dude i've been playing for a week and i haven't found a base so i mean i could see why someone might just suddenly be like all right screw it i'm i'm uh i'm gonna just drop the i'm gonna get this right now so i don't have to wait any longer you know so that there is that. But yeah, pretty sweet deal, dude. Uh, thanks, guys, if you're just joining. Um, we just had a really nice deal. We, I just got two Burr runes for a nice Druid Pelt base, or a Hunter's Guys base. And then I just upped my War Travelers to Mirrored Boots. So... That opens up a few more options now for me, which is cool. So let me go to Hell Difficulty again. Such is the beauty of free D2 market. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's awesome. There's obviously some issues with it, right? With, um... That we could talk about, but... Who cares? I just got two burr rooms. <laughs> um... So here's my uh, pre-buff gear now. We have a level 30 Shadow Master. I do have a skill point, actually, as well. Increasing the Shadow Master more and more and more actually does increase the skills that she has, too. So it isn't... It's kind of... It's not bad to just continue to buff those. And she does get more skills for the ones that I've invested so, like, her Dragon Claw and her Claw Mastery are higher level. They're, like, level 24 or something, because it's not exactly what you have. Um, but it's something about, like, what you've invested in the Shadow Master and the skills, I think. Sorry if I don't am not explaining that exactly right, but it's something like that. So, I was thinking... I was thinking I would actually just put another point into the Shadow Master. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we have level 31 Shadow Master which is kind of nice. And max roll is a little weird. I tried to go on max roll to see what exactly is happening, but on max roll, you know, like it says I just summoned the Shadow Master with over 2,000 life, but on max roll it said she had like 368 life. So I was like, I don't know if the numbers are right on that thing at all now. I have no idea. So whatever. Um, and then I can, you know, on my first cast, I can get... 
Venom to 21, and Burst of Speed to 28, with only one point into Venom. Is that right? Is that what I have? Yeah. One point into Venom. We have level 21 Venom. Kind of sweet. Um, there we go. So now I got my Shadow Killer with the Burr Rune in it, the Etmas, the G-Face. I kind of want to maybe socket that G-Face. Get some more Lightning Res. Okay. And Sealed Fate says more live off Meta Madness deal. Atlantis says, hello again, Mr. Busamani. Yo, what's up, guys? If you're just joining, I did just obtain two Burr Runes for a nice Druid Hunter's Guys base. I had three Sockets and three to Hurricane. And uh, whoever was looking for one of those really wanted it bad. I posted it on Tradery, and within 10 minutes, somebody offered me two Burr Runes for it. And I was like, oh, let's go, man. Let's do this. So, uh... Just got two Burr Runes. Just upped the War Travelers so my kick damage is better. Sorry if you're watching this later and you're like, dude, you just talked about that. I know, but people are just coming in. Wicked trade, grats, homie. Damn, GG. What were the full stats, says Joachim? It was just the Hunters, guys, with three sockets, three to Hurricane. That's it. Um, this is a Terror Zone Far Oasis right now. Um, yeah, so, ever wonder why Burr is the first room to populate after reset? Because of mapped seeds. <laughs> mm. Okay, that guy must have been impatient. Yeah, I don't think anyone has a current jaw map, or if they do, it's kept very secret. Yeah, I would, I mean, honestly, if I knew any of that kind of stuff and how to manipulate it, I don't know if I would just sit there. I, I don't know if I would um just tell everybody about it either at, right away because it is like an advantage, you know? And it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to like have a... Just be sneaky. Oh, shoot. I, this is not a good place for this mercenary since these guys are all lightning immune. He just died. Yeah, I don't know. It's... There's definitely some issues with the uh, trading and all that, with all the burr runes everywhere, but... Hey, I'm playing the game as legit as I can, alright? Yes. With what's allowable. Let's see, uh... I also... Look, I shopped a life tap wand. So that I have that and when I need it for like say a D clone spawns or something so I'll be ready for that I also found this in the shop which was just cool check it out cruel scissors sawaya 234% enhanced damage with 3 to fade um, this actually has 133 to 170 damage uh, it's not amazing but I'm just I was just gr ga grabbing it to show that like in the shop at Larzik he could roll a cruel scissors sawaya of like slaughter or something you know or something else on the back end of that and then you could get two sockets and then you could get you know two ohm runes or two burr runes or something and you could actually make a decent physical damage magic claw just from magic items. Like, look at this. 133 to 170. That's more damage than my my Plague Runic Talon. Although, the Plague Runic Talon has the Deadly Strike and the Minus Enemy Poison Resistance. And the Open Wounds. And the two skills. And the Attack Speed. So there is, you know, all of the amazing mods that are on that. But just straight up damage. It's like, you could get, you could just shop a really nice claw from Larzik. So, okay. Let me, um... Oh, wait. Are those a uh, champion? Yeah. Nice little champion right there. Mercenary just killed him for me. That was cool. War Sword. Death Mask. Let's 
Um, so what we're we saying? Once UGM figured out that seed map for a burr live on stream, lots of things about how the bots operate made sense. Yeah, exactly, Atlantis. Disco says, I got a jaw on my 6% wind force. That's nice, bro. Joachim, I rolled a magic runic talon with 280 ED, 2 martial art, 30 IS from Anya. Nice. I'm also freaking scared to roll Larzik on it. I was shopping for plus 5 to wake a fire. Yeah, I know, dude. I have some, I have some non-ladder claws and items that I'm like, they need two sockets from Larzik, and I just, I just don't feel like doing it, because I, <laughs> it's gonna suck if it gets one, you know? Uh, but that would actually make a fun, I think that would make a fun video, though, don't you think? Just to, if I just showed, it would take me a while to put together, though, because I'd have to, like, do all the items that I want to imbue, or, um, socket, and then, like, do a compilation of them all. I think that would make a cool video. Oh, my Venom wore off. So, yeah. Um, I know I'm just kind of casually going through this right now, but... I'm not, I'm not zipping through it as fast as I can. But I, because I kind of don't mind just like killing all, killing stuff too, you know, while I'm doing it. Alrighty. I'm gonna sock it with some GG jewels for my blue assassin. So you have like a like all blue items on your assassin. Is that what you're saying? That Yoakim, you seem like you uh, you kind of think like I do. <laughs> um, let's see, Sabra Aude. I don't think I'm understanding how the stuff GGM showed would apply to bots online. Joachim says, yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't know. I guess Sapra, um... There might be a way for... there might people. Some people might have figured out a way to figure out what seed the server side is sending. That's all I can really imagine. You know? That's how I got into your channel, man. There are dozens of us out there. <laughs> dozens, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people who like all the... People who are just, like, really into the itemization to the point where we're like, Ooh, look at this blue man-catcher. You know? A blue man-catcher that rolled min damage and over 200 enhanced damage. And everyone's like, that's not good. You know? It's like, dude, it is it for a blue item. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I literally have one in the stash right now. <laughs> That I want two sockets on, and then, and even if it got one, I would still just probably use it in a, like, for, like, a mercenary build video or something. All blue, I do want to do that, by the way, guys. I want to do, a, like, all blue items characters and stuff, even on the mercenary. I think that would be really cool. I've been, like, collecting stuff like that for a while. It's kind of, it's not easy to come by. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's for good reason, though, too, man. They, like, not everyone's got time for all that, you know? Cool. I like it when my mercenary kills stuff for me. Because he's, he's not supposed to be that good. Mm-hmm. Uh, large charm. P 
polished wand. Cloudy sphere. And blue claws. Why not? I actually don't even think that... Can, I don't even think the blue claws can roll anything. Or maybe that's just for staff mods is what I'm thinking of. Like if it's plain. I don't know. I gotta like... I'm not sure about that. So I haven't really noticed any difference in, in my kick damage here from Dragonflight. It's kind of just too hard to tell. You know, I don't think I had. I don't think it was a massive upgrade to up those, but it, but it's still I'll take it. You know, and this. All right. Normal. And superior and blues can't. Yeah, for just claws. Okay. And it's not like you can up magic items, so there's kind of no point then. Unless you're, like, thinking low-level stuff, maybe, but... One to bow and crossbow with 3% life stolen. Hmm. Well, yeah. So, we just, like... Duh! Two Burwins, bro. So we'll never see a plus five to Fire Blast Claw, sadly. Yeah, like it doesn't exist, right? You can't get it. Elder Staff? Nope. Hang on. Rare War Scepter. Level 8 Sacrifice. I'm kind of curious to see how much damage. Look at Level 8 Sacrifice. 285% damage. Like, that's actually not bad, you know? The problem is the charges are so few. 60 charges. <clears throat> Let's see. A VAPR says, what character slash build would you use for an all blue? Um, I mean... You could, you could do it for any of them. You could literally do it for any of them. I, I've been keeping stuff for all classes for that. Because you can find stuff that rolls really high for like skills and certain skill trees, right? Like a three to shadow disciplines with teleport charges or something. And then you can get two sockets at Larzik and, you know... And then you can put in some, like, really nice blue jewels. And then you can roll, like, you can find, like, um, like, say for a barbarian, you could find, like, a berserker axe that's blue that has the cruel mod and, like, with, with max damage on it, you know? And then it could, and then it could also, uh, get two sockets at Larzik, and then you could put in two enhanced damage jewels or something, or two shale runes or whatever. You know what I mean? So you could, you could really, actually, you could actually build an effective character with just only blue items. It's just that they're really hard to come by to be like to compete at all, but it's possible. Um, and then like, like Amazon, you can find blue matriarchal bows that roll three, three to bow and crossbow skills and have, you know, uh, lightning damage on them and stuff like that. So it's like you, you can find. You can find that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just really difficult. Uh, 
Uh, like Sorceress, for example, too. Like, you could find in the shop a staff that's, like, plus five or even plus six to, like, chain lightning or something. And it could have cast rate. It could have... It could have lower resist charges on it. You know? So, like, two to Sorceress skill levels, three to chain lightning, you know, and then lower resist charges. Like, you can find that kind of stuff in the shops. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Let me, bro, I did something. You inspired me to. Let me show you real quick. All blue Javazon is really, really good. Can't you get claw bases with three to fire blast? I don't, I don't think it exists. Um, Joachim says six forties, three twenties, Jewelers Archon Plate of the Whale. <laughs> two Open Socket. Two Amazon Circlet. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. All that would be amazing. And then you could do like... Three or four socket blue shield of some kind as well, right? And get whatever you need in there, like attack speed, resistances... Like, all that would be good. Mm. Trustworthy fellow says, What's up, Michael? And sub chat. Another great time stream from my point of view. What did I miss in the last 25 minutes? VPR says, No drop, lol. Yeah. Um, so, the last 25 minutes. Um, I'll just go real quick because I explained it. I traded a druid pelt. Hunter's guys, three open socket, three to hurricane for two burr runes, dude. Somebody really wanted it bad because they, they came in and just gave me two burr runes for it like right away. Um, and that was why I started streaming. I was like, oh, let's stream right now for that trade. And then I upped my uh, war traveler travelers to mirrored boots so I get more kick damage. Um, and then uh, I was just kind of like, we were just kind of talking and I was just, I just decided... So here, like, look. Cruel Repeating Crossbow, 241% enhanced damage on that. Um, three to combat skills. But yeah, Joachim, that's like... Like, a Javazon can get, like, all blue items and be insanely powerful, for sure. Which is, like, a really cool build. The best, the best magic javelin I ever found was just plain plus five to javelin skills. That was the only one. Okay, um, Black Marsh. I'm kind of just, I'm just going to, like, see if I can get <laughs> any keys here, you know? I'm going to, there are some minions. I'm going to go to, like, the Countess. We'll go to Nilathok. We'll do all that. Um, I'm just going to kind of just do each one, I think. Like instead of just doing the same guy over and over again, I'll just I'll just run to each one, uh, and kind of just start there and see how that goes. It's it's not exactly the most efficient, I know, but I don't I don't really care. I'm just gonna keep kind of playing, just kind of seeing what drops. Uh, this style of play that I do, where I just kind of like not so concerned about it, it seems to work out. I mean, I just got two burr runes from a nice base trade that I found, just kind of you know messing around. So it's like. All good. Let's see here. Here it is. Forgotten Tower. What was that? So where are those burrs going? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know... I don't even know what I'm, uh, what I'm gonna do with them. Maybe... Maybe I just, uh... I mean, maybe I roll... a beast and get Metamorphosis for the more, for the attack speed and the, the damage reduction for the Mark of the Bear. That could be something. I did mention that 
before when we were th when we were you know kind of theory crafting what the end game would look like for this character. Two volcano. Do a crazy off meta build with infinity. I tried with I tried that with a barbarian. Did you ever see that video? <laughs> I did Dreamhelm, Infinity Man Catcher, Whirlwind Barbarian with Lightning Charms. And it, like, it should be really good. I, you would think it would be a lot better. And it's just because Two Handed Whirlwind sucks so bad. It just wasn't. It it was alright. Like, it was okay. But it. I was. I was kind of hoping it would have been better, you know? It's on the channel. It's, like, it's probably on there, like, five months ago. But I don't know. Two Burr runes, though. I could make two Beast. And I could make the Commander Barbarian. <laughs> I mean, I have lots of stuff already that would just transfer right over to a physical character. But, I don't know. The Metamorphosis 2 would, if I wore that, it would give me 10 more all res cannot be frozen on the helmet so then I could maybe switch out this raven frost it would be tough though because my cold res is so bad you want to link me something hey let me just kill countess really quick before I do before I leave Joachim if that's all right with you man but yeah I'll come uh, in a minute I'm almost I'm only I'm I'll be there soon I do want to check out what you want to show. All right, let's see here. Here's level four. Here's some special dudes. Shadow Vex. Has any, have you ever had Shadow Vex drop a Vex rune for you before? Okay. Wait a second. More special guys. Of course. Let's see. Uh, JP, do some... Oh, wait. Sorry. Uh, that does sound kind of cool. Honestly, you could get some rare claw... Cool rare claws for a couple burr runes. Is that what you're saying? They're worth so much, dude. Like, I actually did... I actually did, um, oh wait. I actually did try, um, when I had that jaw rune before I made Enigma, I actually did bid on a pair of F claws on Traitory with for a jaw rune. And, the, I mean, I, I didn't think he would go for it because it was a pretty nice one, but he definitely denied it and he said it wasn't high enough. And I was just like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. So, it, they're kind of hard to get. Ort rune and nothing else. Alright, so... Wait, hold on. Gut bang. Let's kill gut bang really quick. Alright. So, what was... uh? Let's see here. Uh, do so on his. By, Alda says by rare quality and above. Do you mean the exceptional elite claw bases? Well, got to get back to work. Says all right. Sorry, I sorry to answer your question, man. Um, trustworthy fellow says so. What skill on the assassin tree is the whirlwinding one? It's not on the assassin tree, trustworthy fellow. The you have to get you have to make, the um chaos rune word to get the whirlwind o skill jp says two burr runes man that's a lot man i'm still excited myself <laughs> Joachim, check the magic sr can you explain that Joachim? i don't know what you mean by that and also what game did you want me to join ah gotcha says 
Oh, my bad. I we're too late. I have checked those in the past, and I have found a pretty. I have found some that were kind of cool. Like um, join two one two. No, two F two. Is that right? Or whoops. 2F2. There we go. Alright. I am here. Time to die. <clears throat> oh. There you go. With, uh, meditation and resist lightning. That's nice. Cool, dude. And you... After I saw your barb... Oh, yeah. I know, man, because you can double up and... What's this, uh, metamorphosis? Are you... You don't need that? What are you doing? It's seriously good for self-wear on Assassin. Yeah, this one. Trustworthy fellow says, Damn, so I need an Ohm rune to get my whirlwinding Assassin? Yeah, dude. You need an Ohm rune and a good base, so... You need more than an Ohm rune, basically, to get it. Are you, like... So did you just make... Oh, you made two of them? Oh, alright. Cool. Yeah, so I, I could make, um... I could make a beast in a caduceus. I don't have a caduceus though, so I'd have to make it. I have to find one. But that's okay. With the terror zones, it's a little bit quicker to find them, you know? Here we go. I'm gonna need to make another freaking mule if I wanna not just dump tons of stuff now. Um, but yeah, thanks, dude. That's that's cool. IO Cham fail. Nubberish says you can also use Hero Editor. <laughs> Trustworthy fellow, you said I need a good base. You mean playing three open socket and greater talent ain't cutting it? Um, the greater talent doesn't have as much damage, so I mean, I would like at least runic or feral. But and if you can, if you don't need the eye, the the attack frame, if like you can meet it still. Then you could even go a different base for even more damage. Um, like, it also just depends what you're doing, I guess, with the build. But it can roll 290 to 340% enhanced damage, so. Might want to take advantage of something that is a bit stronger. Yeah. In Joachim says if you wear runic in the offhand you can do sawaya or feral for the chaos and still have good whirlwind speed with fade on yeah right because when you're dual wielding um, it does take into account the speed of both weapons and 
and it it like it can be faster if you have a faster one in the offhand, you know. Cool. <clears throat> All right, sweet dude. Um, what? So, what kind of character is this that you have right there? Is that just a mule? Good to see you. Should we go kill some stuff? Let's go. Let's go. Like fight something, since we're in a game together. Level fifty-one grizzly. Yeah, dude. That's my kind of build right there. <laughs> I love... I've done that on the channel so many times. It's like level 52 Heart of the Wolverine. Oh yeah. So there's... You want to just do World Stone? Let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> we got souls. We got souls. <laughs> there. I put on... <laughs> I put on Fade and my wizard spike... Because of all the freaking souls, dude. There. Hey, a crown. Wow. Hang on. I'm gonna need some potions because I'm friggin'. Alright. Let's go. Do you have Enigma on that character, then? Mm -mm. Looks like you do. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. So we can... Man catcher. Three sockets. Mandatory on a summoner. <laughs> You'd think so, unless unless you want to make a hunter druid like I did. Mm. Yeah, I know, for the stomps, absolutely. It's honestly not bad. I love I actually love the druid, man. I think I, druid's one of my favorites. You went all out on this druid. Oh yeah, you did. Summoning skills 42 life. I imagine those aren't the most expensive ones, though, that you could get, right? I mean, because not as many people are desiring Summoner. No, they were both like a burr each. Yeah. Cheap. Exactly. Hey, a Thresher. Four socket Thresher. It's not ethereal, but somebody might want that. What do we miss? Oh, it's over here, dude. It's at the beginning. Look, it's right next door to the waypoint. And here's the next lo here's the next one right here. <laughs> it's right here, yeah. See blue great poleaxe, bro. We got it's a grinding one with requirements minus 30%. <laughs> I don't really need it though because I found a um I found a Beck to Corbin that nets me 20,000. You'll grab it on the way out. I need it. Oh, okay. It's at the it's at the beginning over there. I left it back there. Um, but yeah, I, I found a Beck to Corbin, dude. It, it gives me 20k every time I do the... the, the thing. <laughs> That's almost max. Yeah, I know.
Druids rock, says Trustworthy Fella. And he says, I presume I will find many bases before Ohm. Yeah, you probably will. Your Ravens hit for 5k. I'm trying to max Ravens now. Wow. Yeah, dude, they really did buff those up a lot when they were reworking how the Druid Summon tree works. Which is good, man. I was so glad. Because I was, I was rocking a Bow Druid with three Dire Wolves before they patched it and made it so that you can have all of them out at once. And it was so slow. I, like, it was so slow and I didn't even have good gear, you know? And I, and I still played that character all the time. And I just would slowly just run through and shoot things like 50 times. I didn't even care. I just wanted to play a bow, um, a bow druid so bad. Matriarchal bow, it's blue. I'm gonna check it out. Two to bow and crossbow. Yeah. If you go back in my portal, you won't have to waste yeah. yours. One sec, need space. Yeah, yeah. I desperately need space, dude. It's like, I don't... Ugh. Mm-hmm. Crap. There we go. Four socket thresher. Somebody's gonna want that. I know it. Not everybody has completed their build. What do you need? Whoops. Nice. Your Heart of the Wolverine is uh, giving me tons of damage too, man. It's cool. Heart of the Wolverine's so good. I know. I had it max before maxing Raven. Yeah. That's usually what I would do too. Rare Great Maul. Nova on striking. Well, that kind of sucked. Yeah, the Heart of the Wolverine is really nice, dude. My Blade Shield does 3,000 damage now. <laughs> it's a lot. That's a lot with Deadly Strike. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. You were just stunning them all with your bear, too. That was cool.
Uh, I'll catch up on that stuff in a sec here. Only 83% chance to hit with 25,000 attack rating. <laughs> oh, boy. Flying axe. Is it ethereal? No. Oh. Oh, dude, the Gimmer Shred. Gimmer Shred's sweet. 200% enhanced damage. Hold up. Is that perfect? Is that perfect? Hang on. Let me double check that. 10 is perfect. So, it's not. Yeah, 210. 210 enhanced damage, but that's pretty good. 200, 200 ED roll on this. The It can roll as low as 160, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. I, oh, wait. Whoops. My bad, dude. My bad, bro. I know you wanted to get that thing. I'm so sorry. Here, I'll go. I'll go get it. I can get there really quick. Hang on. <laughs> you were like, "Don't open it," and I was. And I opened it. Here. Like I'm already here, and the TP is right here. Here you go. Oh, did you get it? Oh, you got it. Okay, so this is not a bad roll on this. This is actually a good find. On the profit. Yeah, it might not... The gap might not be as big for the profit because um, it is an elite base, you know? And sometimes that can make the buyback a little bit higher. But I don't know. Let's see. Uh... First with the fellow says druids rock. My struggle for space is continuous. It never ends. You're partly to blame for that, Michael. As in, it was bad before I found your channel. Now I literally have to keep everything because it might find a purpose. I know. Well, I know. That's how I that's how I play. You know, I'm just like, ooh, I can make a build with that. Oh, I can make a version of that build with that. Oh, that's a good blue item. You know, and I do that all the time. So and sometimes you have to go purge yourself of those things. Like, look at this one. Look at this item. Master's Legend Sword of the Locust. 134% enhanced damage, 226 attack rating, 7% lifesteal, ethereal. So, Act 5 Mercenary, all blue items only, you know? I haven't found a blue Legend Sword that good before ever. <laughs> LOL, I'm loving it, brother. Says trustworthy fellow. <laughs> yeah, I like I really like this. And this too. 278 enhanced damage, 10 men damage on a man catcher. You were right about the elite base. Yeah. So like this one that I have is pretty good. I'll show you. Hang on. This one is grinding back to Corbin of Slaughter. And that one gives me like 20k. Because it sells for the max. It it sells for the max of 35k. And then the buyback is, is only like, um, you know, like 15 something. Stony Tomb. So I guess shopping one of those in Nightmare might be the play. Yeah, actually, it might be. I found it in Hell on Larzik, but whatever. Dude, let's do Chaos. Hmm. 
I'm just deciding to kill these guys. There's this group of special guys right here. Well, my character can do players too. So that's good, huh? <laughs> Blue Shadow Bow. Let's see. No, Soldier Shadow Bow of the Sun. That's a cool name, though. Champion of the Sun. Sawaya. Three Mind Blast, one Dragon Tail Sawaya. Yeah, he's a master of karate and friendship for everyone. I'm so glad you got the reference. <laughs> Yeah. Day man. Ah. All right, I'll stop there. I have the cleansing aura, so you cannot hurt us with the curses. Trying to find a demon crossbow with four sockets and 15 ED. I'm gonna make faith and try shape shifting. That's interesting. Your attack frames will be freaking absurdly fast. I made I made a I had I had a base like that for a brand, actually, and it rolled like anti perfect. Ah, I see. That's cool. Yeah, because so you really need the frames then. Hmm. 9% ED. Not bad. Yeah, dude. Whoa. I almost got my mercenary killed there. <laughs> Two to lightning skills, grand charm, six strength. For low mid low mid level, yeah. Nice roll on that. The three sockets too, you could actually make something. They have Cloak of Shadows and they're stunned. 
Infector is immune to physical. We still got him just fine. Mm -mm. He, I never amped him either. Lower resist infinity killed him in two shots. Yeah. There, I just tele stomped to say. <laughs> Grand Charm. I can't pick it up. <laughs> yeah, it might be an upgrade for me. Oh, yeah, that one. Bavaret's Keep. Let me, um... Yeah, I can't pick it up either right now. I gotta, I gotta move it. Let's see. If I move this one out of here... It's a 26. What's the uh, vendor? The vendor on it. Ten. Oh. Does anyone need a Geeds? We have a Geeds. It's, o it's only a 26 magic find, 10 reduced vendor, and 125 gold, but if you need one. Three Mind Blast, one Dragon Tail, Sawaya. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to want that. What do you need? What do you need? It's not bad. I don't know. Do you think I could actually get a trade for it? Like, I don't even know. It's like a Vex. Oh, really? Well, then... I'll buy it back, then. How about that? Problem is, we're like so out of room here. Duelers use it. Okay. I mean, I kind of knew that, but I just thought that I wouldn't be able to find anybody for it. I could post it. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna add a listing here, I guess. See if I can get rid of it. It's 
it's ladder, it's normal. And there we go. You think it's reasonable? Oh wait, if it's Dragonflight, it would have been... What is it? I thought it was Dragonflight. Oh, it's Dragon Tail. Oh wait, you know what? Never mind. I, I put it... I thought it was Dragonflight. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything for that. It doesn't... It's not as fast either, right? I already have enough junk. Like, here's another... Like, this combat skiller for Barbarian. These are worth nothing. Make mules, says JP. I know, dude. I need to... I'd be better. I'm actually better off trying to sell this four socket thresher. Thresher normal. So I'm going to add this one. It's socketed, it's got four. Here we go. Maybe I make a self-wielding infinity in a normal thresher. In, on fire claws druid yeah just cleaned up in here this is like the best area for you mm -mm. Three strength, no level requirement, two max damage. Faster hit recovery, druid, rabies, life, fire res, poison lamp reduced at level 23, yeah. I know, but yeah, I know, JP, I gotta make mules, man. I know, I know you said that earlier, but I'm just saying it again. Twenty percent faster run walk level sixteen required on a circlet. Put Hasaruses or uh, Vidalas on, and put on that uh, armor that gives you cannot be frozen and run walk, and have your low level guy run really fast. <laughs> Four. Bro, come here. What? Come here. Okay. Your TP. The 
Let's see. Ooh, is that Schaefer's? Shit. Wow, split MFing is really good, huh? Yeah, dude, check that out. You gonna ID it? Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. We got Schaefer's here. Stone Crusher! 287 enhanced damage. 26 damage. Minus target defense. 40% crushing blow. Minus 100 to monster defense per hit with 21 strength. Yeah. It could have been Schaefer's. Schaefer's is actually really good still. Um, what's the roll on this again? I gotta look. Um, so two, f 320 is the max enhanced damage, and then just 30 is just the damage. And then it can roll 20 to 30 strength. So... So, pretty low roll on the enhanced damage, pretty low roll on the strength, and then just the flat damage was alright. Yeah, man. It could have been. Aram CZV. Yo, was just watching your last stream, but saw you were live. Next season, I want to try this Karate Assassin. Yeah, man, it's, um, it's cool. I'm, like, all I'm doing is physical damage, basically. You can get these kind of claws for really cheap. Uh, not this one, but, like, Bartux, Fire Lizard, all the unique claws in the game you can get for perfect amethyst. And they can be even perfectly rolled. You're saying the, uh, you're saying this is worth a high run? The Stone Crusher? Yo, Kim. No, this shield. Oh. 45 auras, level 12 required. Oh, yeah. Spirit bait. Yeah, for sure, dude. That's a nice, that's a nice base. Let's see. Um, I could try to add, I could try to list that then. Herald, shield, herald. Um... Level 12 required. It's got 7% enhanced defense. And 45 all res. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I know. They just want the resist. I know. So... And they can worry about the sockets, you know. Forty-four defense, Grand Jam. Easily ohm, in my opinion. I 
I've never found a good um, base for obsession. <laughs> You have a nice base. It's three Nova. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, I've never found a good base for that. The Syrian Oak, Styrian Oak says, "Yo, Michael, what's good? Hey, man, nice to see you again." Um, Superior Phase Blade, fifteen ED, one socket, darn. And then, uh, yeah, w what's good is uh, we made some nice trades in the beginning of this stream and over several streams, honestly. Like I just got two, I just got two Burrones for a nice Druid base, um, Hunters guys, and then. Uh, and then I upped my boots, my war travelers, so that my kick damage on my dragon flight is a little bit better. Uh, Joachim is in the game with his level 51 summons. Superior Colossus Volge. Nothing. Um, and we're just kind of like killing stuff. And we're finding like good bases and things like... Like, this is 45 all res, level 12 required for a paladin shield. <laughs> yeah, we did. You can literally, like, farm anywhere in this game for stuff, you know? That's what's cool. You don't just have to do terror zones or level 85 areas. You don't find them. Uh, 15 ED phase blades are worth high runes, man. Like, they're worth burr runes. If it was, like, four, four or five sockets, if it was five, it would be worth a lot more. Obviously. I think five has got to be the most valuable. And then maybe four. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, solid shield for early pally. Running with Winnie the Pooh and his friends. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Styrian Oak says, I'm currently shopping for that four socket blue armor in Act 4. Yeah, dude. The uh, Nova when struck jeweler's plate. I found that. I think I found that one in, um, in Act 1. But it doesn't matter where you shop for it, really. Act 5, you can find it, too. What's crazy about that Nova shield, fine. Yeah, it's over. What's crazy about the Nova shield find was that I also found a pair of 320s right before that. <laughs> so. But yeah, I am like out of room on stuff now, though. That's the problem. Oh, here's another super chest thing. Choco new. It's blue. Two to max damage. Charm. 
I really love that I can just open any chest. Okay. Only attack rating up. Let's go lean. Oh, here we go. There's a little elite pack. Yeah, true, but in A1, there can only be the normal versions in A4. There can be exceptional lever. Yeah, that's true. I just found that in Act 1, I could run in and out really quickly with the right map. Okay, so... Spiked J-Mod? Spike Shield of J-Mod? Yeah. <laughs> Christopher says, I've been blessed with a Jeweler's Monarch with negative requirements on single player. That was a pretty sweet find. Yeah. That is really nice, dude. Negative requirement Jeweler's Monarch? I like that a lot. I've never find a ju I've never found a jeweler's monarch of any kind. Welcome to the desert rain. My first one too. Yeah. That's really nice. Joachim says, I love checking Drognan. Yeah. I know. Sometimes you find... I, I found some good, like, wands and stuff in there. Oh, chipped emerald. I need that. Wanted to, uh... Cube up some dull runes for a hell rune. I seriously need to create a mule after this, though. There's no... I have no freaking room for anything. On, um, on non-ladder, I have a Marshall's Scudum of Deflecting. Uh, four socket demon crossbow, there you go. Nice, man. Yeah, dude, we've been finding really good bases. Sweet. Another chipped. I only need one for now. There you go, Alpha Helm. <laughs> Sweet. Cloudy Sphere. I mean, might as well check it because... We've been getting pretty good luck. Bro, I feel you. I'm full. No room for mules. Says, uh, steering up. Yo, Kim, thanks to this base being a caddy. And Heart of the Wolverine plus Might Aura. I actually three shot those level 94 mobs. Yeah. I know. Caduceus is actually good. It's got... It doesn't have the highest max damage, but I actually really like it. Um, This Sorceress Amulet is level 27. 
with 32 life, one to sorcerer's skills. It's less than level 30. What level was this again? Level 9, 1 to 6 lightning, 15 poison. I'm using my wizard spike to attack and not hitting. There we go. Alright. On my way. Unique Scythe, unique Bone Helm. Uh, Frank the Troll says, hey, what's up? Um, a lot, man. We've gotten, like, really far in this ladder so far. We're, we're in Terrorized Stony Tombs. Me and, uh, Joachim are in a game together. I traded a really nice druid... Hunters guys at the beginning of the stream for two burr runes. <laughs> I then upped my war traveler boots. We've been finding really good bases and stuff for things in this little uh, players two session here. Like we found this 45 all res level 12 required paladin shield. <laughs> Creeping feature. A grim scythe. Is that the um necromancer one? Yeah, let me see. There's an Archon plate too. And uh the Grim's burning dead, yeah. So unique Grim Scythe. Three to Necromancer skills. 153% enhanced damage, minus 50% target defense, 234 to attack rating, 130 to 230 fire damage. 20% enhanced defense, fire res 45, attacker takes damage of 8, requirements minus 50%. This thing is like... It's just weird to me. You can get so many more skills with wands and... Necromancer like shrunken heads and stuff. And it tries to give you attack rating and minus 50% target defense so that maybe you could attack with it. And it has defense on it. But the Necromancer really can't make good use of this still, even with all that, you know?
I wish I wish there was a few different things on this or you know so that you so that it was kind of like nudging you to make a melee <laughs> necromancer of sorts that would be cool but oh well Horned Helm. Check this out. Nope. Christopher says makes no sense, really. Uh, oh, sorry. What was the Druid Helm? It was three open socket hunter guys with three to hurricane. That's it. And uh, I think I think the guy overpaid maybe for it because he wanted it like right away. So you know he saw I posted it on Tradery and then within a few minutes he just he offered two burr runs and I was like, uh, yeah. But also it's kind of hard to find plus three to the skill you want sometimes when you're playing. You know, so I mean, if you see the one you want and you want it right away, offer a burr rune or two and you're going to get it, you know. So, so I took him and, run, and ran. Only three to hurricane? Yeah, that's it. Three sockets, three to hurricane. That's all I had on it. And here they are. One, two, two burr runes that I just got. BRB says Yoki. All right. I kind of need to BRB as well, dude, because I have no room for anything. So hang on. For a plain three NATO, LOL, overprice AF. I have one with three NATO on Trader since three weeks. Nobody offers anything. Yeah, sometimes you just get lucky. Sometimes the timing is just right. You post it, someone's like, I needed that. I've been looking for it for three weeks. And I have 10 burr runes, so they just do it. There isn't, there. I can't give you a good reason for why I got that, but um, it just happened. I wasn't streaming or anything, you know? I, I started streaming after I accepted the the offer so it's not like somebody was just like Joachim says gotta walk the dogs girlfriend or good luck further homie yeah no problem dude I also have dogs Styrian Oak says yeah maybe it was the one perfect style and base he was after exactly he probably wanted it to be in a hunter's guise as well so yeah so I, I'm gonna create another mule here um Let's see. Let's make him uh, a paladin, maybe. Okay, we'll call him Saison. Saison six. How about that? Could always rush these guys, too, to get some Larzic quests as well, you know? All right. Uh, here's a base. I like those. Here's my jeweler's plates that I like so much. Uh, these are all jeweler's plates right here that I shopped. <laughs> Okay, and then that geeds can stay. And then I've got these blood items that I crafted that are not really that great. Mm, 
Might need that. It's like some room. Essences, one to all skills. Uh, I want to roll that maybe. That too. Okay. 17 mana small charm. 7 to 11 cold 2 strength small charm. That's actually not bad. 6 MF, 10 cold. Alright. Are those all the essences I have? Good day. Is that the only one I have? I think it might be. Yeah, okay. So let's see here. Lots of gems and stuff still. Some space here. Okay. That should be good enough for now. So now I'm going to try to uh, sell this paladin shield. Let's see here. Um, 45 res level 12. Pally shield. There we go. Let's see if I can sell this. So, trustworthy fellow says, as much as I'm enjoying the stream, I'll catch up on the VOD, lol, mate. Just called for some chess action. Have fun. Gotcha, dude. Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue on here. Like, I'm probably going to try to see if I can get a key or two or something like that. I'm going to run through all those places, you know. And I am going to cube up these dole runes for another hell rune. There we go. Since um, you can you can trade hell runes in bulk. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I feel like once I get like ten of them, might be able to get something pretty decent for that, you know? Um, like, on ladder, like, eight hell runes will go for a gull. Ten hell runes will go for two ist. You know? So on ladder. The prices change on non-ladder sometimes. But, like, 15 hell, I could maybe get, like, a low rune or a sur rune or something. A couple more, I could get an ohm. So, I mean, yeah, so, like, I'm kind of making my way up here for these. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight hell runes. Yeah, I could get a few more of those and I could easily trade those up, you know. Level 31 Shadow Master. Check that. Uh, Atmoscarab. Put that back on. Here we go. Let's move. Arcane. 
Oh, hey, there's some... Lum rune. All right. Take that. I forgot to, uh... Get some more... Identity scrolls. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we got him back. That was perfect. Okay. <laughs> There's kind of a lot happening now. Like, I have... Frost Nova going off all the time. Poison Nova is going off all the time. The Mercenaries shooting lightning everywhere. The Shadow Master is casting all kinds of like martial arts and stuff. Lower resist is going off. Amp damage. Like I, there, there's actually a lot of spells firing off everywhere. Um, <laughs> what's this rare Silver Edge Axe? Yeah, it's nothing, of course. It sucks. Alright, let's move. Are those special dudes? Or... Some of these groups I'll like will stop and just kill. Okay. Nothing there. Okay. If it's in a, like, an, a big pack of these, I'll stop and get them, you know? Okay. Blackfester. There we go. Legend sword. Uh -huh. All right. Um, let's see. Grow a bit says, "Did you just start playing?" Uh, no. I've been I've been streaming for hour forty five minutes. So we had a pretty productive intro. And that was why I started streaming, actually. <laughs> so we we got two high runes for a trade. So that was kind of nice. But yeah, we have we have um, upgrades on the character and stuff too. It's like. We've got a Plague Runic Talon with one to Death Sentry, two to Dragonflight. So we get Death Sentry for free. I haven't even used it. I haven't even used Death Sentry at all this entire stream. Um, and really not even the last one. I didn't really use it. But it's there if I want it, you know. Um, Experience Shrine.
Eh, I guess we'll attack these guys since... Could use a little bit of mana back. There we go. That was nice. We amped him with that kick. That's always really nice when you dragon flight in and the amp damage actually procs. Because then everything just deletes, basically. You know, it's like for, for not having Mosaic, I have a lot of spells happening still. Like, look at all the stuff that's always coming off of this. Rare antlers. Five NATO? No. Okay. Uh-uh, Plopper says... Reply to death sentry, absolute power corrupts absolutely. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not using it really though, okay? But it is there in case I want it. And that's that's nice. See look, I can just I can just pop those out if I really want to. And we can start corpse exploding. Hey, and there's the tower. Alright. Blue Hawk Helm. One to Heart of the Wolverine repairs durability. I'll take another town portal right now. Not enough mana. Okay. Shoot a mercenary. There we go. I can't carry anymore. Nice. So the mercenary is actually pretty decent, if you didn't know, and you're watching. He has Crescent Moon, Skin of the Viper Magi, Max Res, a Splendor because he can't wear even Ethereal Spirit Shield yet. And he's got a Griffins. Traded Low Low Vex, or I'm sorry, Vex Vex Low for that Griffins. Number says, my commander barb is in act to hell. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet, dude. Are you having, do you have some uh, budget options? Whoa, I almost died. Like, are you using like a uh, piece and I don't know, like oath and stuff like that? Or do you have, like, the full kit ready to go? Mighty Scepter. It's rare. Kind of want to see that. Two Paladin. Mm. Blue Blade Bow. These are, these are never good. 20% grease attack speed. Two sockets. So difficult to get a good... Something that would roll really good for that. Crescent Moon and Peace at the moment. Could farm Oath at Countess, I suppose. Trying to figure out what Merc is best with budget items. Um, For Mercenary? I don't know, maybe Enchant. Enchant Mercenary, maybe? Give him, give him Splendor, Spirit. A Lore Helm. Stealth or Viper Magi. Just so you can get the Enchant up. And then you get a little fire damage on everybody, too. It's not horrible. But, yeah, I don't know. It's up to you, man. I 
I recently learned those rare scepters can spawn up to 5 to hammer and 10 FCR with two open sockets. Ooh. That's cool, because then, because then you could hybridize it a little bit, too. Okay. Sawaya. Three sockets, one to Shadow Master. <clears throat> Bummer. Bummer it didn't roll a little higher on the Shadow Master. Might have been worth something then. Just even as a pre buff. One second. Before we go down there, is there no champion pack around here? Or elite pack? Usually is, I thought. No. Wow. Okay. Earth Spirit. Two Volcano, one Fire Claws. Hmm. I don't know what kind of character it makes as Atlantis. What are you playing on again, dude? Recently... And then... Nubra says... To Atlantis. Hybrid like Druid might be good. You can change playstyle. I always like hybrid Druids. One of my favorites is that... Summons with something to do, you know? Those are always cool. Just gonna let the mercenary shoot these guys down for me. They kept stealing all my mana and stuff. It's kind of annoying. Oh, he's lightning enchanted. That's why he's sticking around. Ral tier tier. I'll take the Ral. Okay. Oh boy. It is a little bit of a slog to try to farm some of that stuff, isn't it? It's kind of nuts, isn't it? Let's see here. Uh, Halls of Pain. the damn quill rats we're not going to stick around here very long but I'm just going to kill this there's a champion or elite pack up there somewhere wow there he is okay damn it mercenary died just trying to get out of there too didn't work Man, the freaking... I can't 
carry anymore. Okay. Oh, lots of immune to physical guys in here. <clears throat> Grab the mercenary really quick. Because I think his static field is going to help. F and this. Okay. Can we make anything? Oh, yeah, we can. One, two, three. Okay. Man, I'm, that took a long time to proc that. Superior matriarchal bow. One to bow and crossbow with 15 enhanced damage. Hmm. And two to attack rating. Man, that was close. I don't know if... I don't know. If someone would want that or not. Not having the skills is kind of a bummer, you know? Darn. Magnetar. Hey, man, just wanted to drop in and say thanks for teaching me how to set up hotkeys. <laughs> uh, battle Orders, Battle Command, and Teleon, A, Z, and X have been really nice. Since they're standard across characters. Yeah, dude, isn't it like... Way better now. <laughs> okay. Neilvog died, but he didn't give me anything. So no keys at all. We got nothing. I'm not sure about this. This is like a weird one. Perfect ED, but one bow and crossbow. It's like, eh. Uh, I feel like the only way somebody would want that if they, if I just gave it away basically for, oh, hey, three battle orders to increase speed. That's nice. That is nice right there. Let's, uh, keep that. That's a nice base. Mm-hmm. Three bow, two speed. I like that. Required level 24. That's pretty good. You'd have to Larzic it, though. So... It's a Fangtown. Superior.
carrier. Uh, level required 24. I'm going on tradery and adding this stuff. It's uh, max durability is 14. And it has three to battle orders. Uh, and increased speed, two. Here we go. That's nice. I like that. And then this other one, I'm kind of unsure about if there's any trade value to it because of the because of the low roll on the bow and crossbow skills. So let's see. Put it here. I wonder if anyone's even traded one that's less <laughs> than two, you know? Mm. Probably not. It's probably not worth anything. Yeah, I don't think it has any trade value, to be honest. There's just no... I haven't. I didn't see anyone trade one that had anything less than two to bow and crossbow skills on it. So, I think that's just kind of a no-go on that item. Check the shop here, of course. 20% increased attack speed. Darn. 3 to javelin with 4 to strength. Um. Hmm. Maybe. Someone might want that. The 220 is obviously desirable, but... But those are worth a jaw. So maybe these 3 with 4 strength could be worth... I don't know. A pulp, and maybe less, maybe of a lem. Tiara. Three sockets, nice. Rare tigulated mail. Ooh. This probably looks cool. Yeah, it does, because it's all white. That's sweet. It's got hit recovery, life, cold res, fire res, repairs durability. That is a cool looking armor, though. And then small charm. In this tiara with three sockets. 16 attack rating. Whoops. Damage reduced by 23. If you can roll something else with those, it's then they're pretty sweet. Okay. I just found a three fire skills, three enchant, three fireball staff. At Jamella. Uh, yeah, dude. That would be really good for, like, trying to run magic only characters and stuff like that, you know? That's pretty good for that, because 6 to enchant, 6 to fireball on a staff. 
is is not bad but but remember it's like you can you can roll that on a wand too and then use spirit as well so like people aren't going to want that but if you're trying to make a character that's using like magic only items and stuff for fun then that's pretty good Three to combat skills, indestructible. <laughs> That's just cool. Um, what else? I guess this is a terror zone. Look at that thresh socket. Boom. Demon crossbow. I can't. Nope. Fort rune tiara. Oh yeah, we're kind of crushing here. So, yeah, this would be probably be a good zone for us right now. Sisterian Oak. In full agreement, I see. <laughs> I didn't need to destroy that barricade, but I did. I oh, shit. It is kind of annoying that you have to have the cube with you to pick up stuff. Wouldn't it, like, like imagine there was like a little tab right here, you clicked it, and then it was just an empty inventory. That would be nice. Nice cedar bow there. Finally getting the hang of healing my mercenary when I need to. <laughs> it only took me like 45 hours of playing with that care with this mercenary to figure out that I should heal him once in a while. If I don't want him to actually die. Barricaded tower. Yeah, that took a long time. They have lower res, dude. Even the charge bolt from the mercenary actually dished out some damage. He's level 87. 
Hmm. Lightning is at 1800 or so. This is terrorized too. The Pit of Acheron. <laughs> I could just stand here and just let the mercenary shoot this guy, look. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Rustbang has fanaticism. Okay. He's gone. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Like, I do get lower resist going off quite often. And that helps all of our AoE potential that we have on all the different parts of our party here but um and then when amp damage goes off it's like then we kill stuff even faster it seems like three shadow warrior one mind blast one cobra strike that's kind of interesting some people do like shadow warrior over shadow master once in a while I think the shadow master is just better overall but there are some instances where you want it, I think. Here's a falcon man. Have you run across that weird thing where the cleansing aura gets rid of shrine effects? That, I think they fixed that. Because it used to happen, like, all the time. A couple years ago or so. Or, like, maybe, like, last year. And then I haven't seen it anymore. I think that was fixed at some point. Oh, whoa. Shadow Master died, dude. Hmm. It's just me and the mercenary, no Shadow Master. These guys are immune to lightning, though. Oh, no, we got rid of it with lower resist. Cool. These guys are all immune to lightning. Let's see, Demon Heart. Whoops. One to Hydra, one to Glacial Spike.
Blue Monarch. Let us out. Darn. Nothing. Nothing at all. Whoa. Damn, dude. We got, like, absolutely rock right there. Mercenary died. I almost died. I can't carry anymore. Just, just me solo. I don't need anybody else. All right, uh, let's see. Swirling crystal. 400 lightning damage. Level six fireball charges though. There's Eldritch. I came <laughs> from the top this time. Way up top. Sharkskin Gloves. Rare Man Catcher. Kind of want to see that. Just because I'm curious, you know. Lightning, Mana Seal Requirements. 72% Enhanced Damage. 7 Mega. Would have been kind of cool if the Enhanced Damage rolled big. You know. Oh, cool. I guess I need to play more Sin more frequently. Yeah, unless it's with Fade, maybe. Maybe Fade is still has, still has that problem. But I think the Cleansing Aura is at least okay now. Sorry for such a late response to that. Hmm. Okay. Mm so now, like, what should I do with my two bur runes, man? I don't know. <laughs> I was, I was gonna make maybe a beast so I could get metamorphosis proc every once in a while. You know, the wear bear, the uh, mark of the bear. That would be kind of cool. Another tiara. Let's see. Nobody wants my 45 res level 12 shield. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Good thing that it wasn't magic. I would have just like re-rolled it, I think. This is not a bad base, actually, because the three to shadow warriors like weird on it, you know? Somebody might want that. Uh, all good, man. Do your thing, says Ploppers. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, Thirty-seven. Cobra Strike, Mind Blast. Uh, 
I'm just posting stuff on Tradery. <laughs> just posting all kinds of stuff today. There's got to be somebody who just wants a Shadow Warrior buff, you know? So, I mean, I do... I did want to try to get the Chaos Rune Word, I think, too. Try that out on the build. So... It has Frozen Orb on Striking. Hmm. And all that magic damage. And it can roll 340% enhanced damage. Kind of too bad that Chaos doesn't have, like, Repairs Durability or something on it. So that you could get an Ethereal Claw. That would be kind of sick. But I guess that would take away from the uh, rarity of, the ra of really good rares, you know, for Assassin. Because those are, like, the best are the rares and magic claws, which is kind of cool. Um, we did... Yeah, I guess I'll cube these since I have an extra now. I like to keep, like, a flawless amethyst just hanging around in case I find a gem shrine, usually. Hmm. Alrighty. So, Ghoul Hide. All right, so nobody's biting on that. Let's see, what else did I have that I thought was maybe valuable? Hmm. Oh yeah, three to javelin, four strength. Um, those might go for like, let's see. Let's just say they're for a pull rune. For a pull rune, you can get three to jab skills with four strength on your gloves. I feel like that's fair. Shadow Disciplines. Still looking for that skull type type armor. Two to bone crossbow, two to strength. Okay. Alright, let's start with Nilothok this time. Start with him. See how that goes. Oh, jeez. Not these guys again. Alright, let's run. How about that?
Two blades of ice. Got a cloak of shadows, all these dudes. Look how many freaking archers there are. Best way for to deal with that is like cloak of shadows and then just run up one at a time. And just kind of beat them down that way. Dude, nice. Mercenary just killed those champion archers. So proud. So proud of him. Oh, I got him. Okay. Slayer Guard. Nope. Alright, so there's... Nilithok. Oh, boy. We are... It's gonna be a while before I can get the stuff, right? <laughs> I guess that's why people trade runes for all this kind of stuff. Afternoon. Uh, that's okay. Let's see here. Arcane. Let's try Arcane. I just want to see which one I can even get first, you know? Rock blade and mirrored boots. Okay, uh, so many things to ID. There's helmets everywhere. Antlers are junk. That's junk. Slayer guard. Junk. Minion skull. Junk. Assault helmet. One battle order to increase speed. Kind of a big pack there. Okay.
amped them. Nice. Let's see. Again. There he is. Mm, nada. Okay, I guess I'll pick it up since there's two of them now. <clears throat> two flawless skulls just dropped, so. I want to go in here and just take out this guy for, for the heck of it. Ice spell. That's what I was looking for. He dropped a Saigon's helm and a rare short spear. Nope. Eth Warfist. Kind of wish they would terrorize the palace, dude. Because the music is cool here. Although the music would get replaced by the terror zone music. So never mind, I guess. <laughs> but that would be like the only reason is like, just let us do the terror zone in the palace just so we can have the, the music. And, yeah. But oh well.
Oh shit. Oh dear. Killed my mercenary really good there. All that crushing blow around me. Jeez. Jagged Star. Rare. Of course it sucks. Claymore. This has got to be the Soul Flay. Yeah, Soul Flay. Alright. Let's get out of here. Not gonna lie, I didn't know Terror Zones had their own music. I gotta turn that back on. <laughs> it's always the same music for the Terror Zone. You know, like, no matter what area it is, it's just its own music every time. It's Terror Zone music. Um, so, but yeah, that's a good point. I could just turn off the music and put my, whatever music I want. We do have six peace skulls, seven peace skulls. All right, another 320? Nope. Uh, it's like my whole plan is just like, <laughs> just shop for 320s and then get your jaw runes that way. Let's see. <laughs> it's so rare st still. <laughs> like, it's not easy to find, man. Yeah, like, like, nope. Chaos is terrorized, huh? That sounds good. Let's try that. Let's see how we do here. Good. Red Dancer. And Puke White the Mad. Seems like we're doing fine. Chain lightning charges on that brandy stock. Level two. <laughs>
Do you have any damage reduction? Says Travis. Nope. I was kind of thinking of making a beast so I could get the mark of the bear for some damage reduction. Be a little tedious once in a while to switch to it though. I could also switch out my uh, Nosferatus if I find a string of ears, which I have not found. Yikes. This is terrorized. Um, night poison, he's gone. Okay. These guys keep draining all my mana, too. Ah, son of a... I saw that he was... Let's go get him back. It's totally annoying to switch stuff all three minutes. I know. It kind of is. It's like if I want to have three minutes of optimal gameplay, it's like I could use Beast and Metamorphosis and Fade. So I could still have my attack frames, you know? But I could also get the damage reduction from Fade and Mark of the Bear. It's like all that would be like kind of cool. But, I don't know. It's kind of nice not having to worry about it, too. And just... You know, heal once in a while and play. Instead of having to worry about that. But, I don't know. I, I, uh... String of Ears would probably just help. Because I could get... Damage reduction, magic damage reduction, and more lifesteal. Like, 8%. I have to recheck my breakpoints again, though. I'm at the max breakpoint right now for my attack. Bone Helm. Worm Skull. It's like the third time we found that. This season. I am Even on my Fury Druid, it annoys me. Just rebuff, then it's gone. It's not as bad on the Fury Druid, I don't think, though. Because you're mostly in the shape-shifting forms all the time. But yeah, it, it's kind of annoying if you're, like, relying on it for the to meet the breakpoint. That's what I think is kind of annoying about it. It's just like Demon Limb, you know? It's like using Demon... Like needing Demon Limb. Otherwise, you just cannot hit stuff. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I've done it plenty of times on the builds because you just kind of have to do it sometimes. But overall, it is a little bit annoying. That's why, I, like, I try to fit it in to, like, in the stat... Like, in the inventory or on swap or something. If, it's, if, it, if that's the case, then it's not so bad. So, yeah, so, like, if I, if I just wore the Metamorphosis, too, I get it, and then just had Beast on swap, got rid of my Wizard Spike, might be okay, but having the Wizard Spike at the same time is really nice. I mean, I, like, just swapping over and just doing this, you know, that's really nice. Don't know if I'd want to give that up. But yeah, Travis says you're still pretty tanky, but it's like I, uh, the only reason is because if, is my lifesteal that is, you know, double dipping with the, um, blade shield. Tax Cut says shout out to OJ. OJ. Shout out to OJ? OJ Simpson? What are you talking about? It 
It's annoying that it's so good you have to do it on Druid. <laughs> I think if they just made it last longer, it would have been fine. Aw, oh, man, he died off the screen. So annoying. I am overburdened. Hey, little 219. Fine, small charm. Let's see. I have a 116. Little upgrade. Oh, yeah. Little upgrade right there. We need this lightning resistance. Oh, hey. Someone joined. Orange juice? <laughs> Pole rune? Why are you to Uh, this guy's... I think this guy thinks... I'm gonna give... Oh, there we go. Thank you. Excellent. A pole rune emerges from my wonderful shop skills that I have. OJ died? OJ Simpson? Any idea what this base is worth, this guy says. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Ist. Ist. Some people really like the mods. Is that a, wait? Let me see. Is that what he said? Fifteen, fifteen. Oh shit! Yeah, that is fifteen, fifteen. Hang on, hang on. I should whisper that guy. I had a three socket, dust shroud, 15 max durability, 15 enhanced damage. Yeah, th those could be really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I told him like an ist at first, and I kind of like misread what he wrote. And I'm like, oh wait, that's 1515. Yeah, like... Hang on. 
That's really something. I told him to say like four burr runes or something, and he'd probably get it easy then, you know? Yeah, one to two jaws, says Styrian Oak. Easy. Yeah, yeah. That's why I whispered him back. I was like, my bad, dude. Wait a second. You actually have something really good there. That's my line. Blue fanged knife. Nope. Rare ballista. No. A rare Calcutta. Falcutta, I mean. <laughs> I said Calcutta. OCD tax is high. Yeah, and dude, people like those perfect rolls on stuff, you know? That's and that's works out great for people like me. Perfect rolls are cool. I like them. But I'm saying to me like this is one off perfect. That's fine. You know? Like that's fine. I'm okay with that. And here's a steel skull. Steel skull is kind of nice. Dual leech, hit recovery, attack speed, 49 MF. What can that roll? What's the... What's the, the um, spread on that? It can roll 30 to 50. Oh. Okay. So, I wonder if, like... So a perfect one, you can get like an um and a pull together or a mal. Only if it's perfect. <laughs> what if it's, if it's 49? It looks like you can get like an ist for it maybe. Yeah. JP says, yeah, however, D4 is still way better. Um, way better in what way? Are you just being sarcastic or something? Or are you saying there's something a lot better about it? <laughs> Sounds like you're being sarcastic, but I don't know. I'm sorry if you're not. I, I, I think you are. And I'm sorry to people who really enjoy D4 if we're ripping on it, but I'm not trying to. I haven't even played it, so... <laughs> Crying emojis from JP, yeah. <laughs> what, do you need? what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Okay, did I do... I did Neelothok, I did Arcane. I didn't do... Countess, to try to get a key from Countess. Oh, 
don't die over that thing. Is that what's gonna happen? He's gonna die over that and not drop anything? Okay. Okay. Ah, 30% increased attack speed, Blades of Ice, Dragon, Tail. Terror Charges. Hang on. Want to get these guys? And that's that's like basically where all the drops are, you know, just killing all the champion packs. There's Puke Crow again. <laughs> Dead or not, but whatever. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Elden F. Dang. What's up, says Dead Parrot? Hey, man. Uh, not much. We've been streaming for three hours. Oh, my gosh. No wonder my eyes are burning right now. And, um... Styrian Oak says, Halboo and Jamela keep asking me, What do you need? And I'm tired of screaming at the screen. Four socket blue armor. <laughs> will you play PoE two? Says JP. Yes, I will. Double high rune drop, higher than L. Yeah, I know, right? I know. <laughs> Hello. I'm trying. Like I'm at the point where I'm trying to get some keys and stuff. I've got zero. We've got zero keys. Uh, but yeah, Dead Parrot. We are streaming for three hours. Joachim came by. Um, we did some players two like chaos and terror zones and everything else that was fun um i traded a druid hunter's guys for two burr runes at the beginning of the stream i upped my war travelers to mirrored boots cleaned out some of my stash and just tried to get some keys and i have zero so <laughs> that's how that's going 
And I found a minor upgrade to my... For a small charm. I had a 1 max damage attack rating, lightning damage small charm. And I found a 2 max damage attack rating. So... Which is kind of nuts because 2 max damage on this build increases my damage by 21. So, does make a difference. Um, it would also be I think I'm I think I want to socket my G face and just put like a ort rune in it or something. Just so I can get rid of this charm that's got 30 lightning res. Yeah. Yeah, max damage goes a long way per point. It really does when you have enough skills, too. Like 28 Dragon Claw, 31 Claw Mastery. So. But yeah, so it's, it's pretty good. Our, uh... Just traded a. I just traded a. Uh, I shopped another three to javelin and spear skills with four strength gloves, and I just traded those for a pull rune. You know, so I've been having pretty good uh, trades still, keeping an eye out for stuff that I know people would pay for it. You know, and I'm moving things pretty quick. I would say. Uh, so I traded those, so I should leave this game. I have 49, let's see here, 49 MF Steel Skull. Let's see. So. People, if it's got 49 Magic Find... It's... What is it worth again? I don't know. If it's perfect, it's like you can get a Mal or an Ist or something, maybe. If it's 49, you can get like an Um rune. I might be able to get another Cham rune, actually, because people just sometimes... Sometimes Cham runes are weird. Because sometimes, sometimes people treat Cham runes like they're worthless because they don't need them for anything and they don't know what to do with them. So I'm, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, this Steel Skull is worth a Cham right now, and just kind of see what happens. Thirty one Shadow Master. Charms are usually valued at Vex on ladder. Which charm? Which charm? This combat skills barbarian only thing is useless too. It's like worthless. Like nobody wants wants them. Oh, cham, cham. Oh, chams. Sorry, sorry. I I misread. I misread. No, I know, but like sometimes I've 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 uh, asked for a cham for something before, and I just get someone who's like who just joins and just like gives it 
gives it away for basically you know um because they're like they'll overpay with a cham sometimes but i've never seen anyone like overpay with a vex you know i mean i shouldn't say never but it just seems like cham runes are weird like that where sometimes people just don't know what to do with them anymore and so they're just kind of are like sure i'll give those i'll like trade that I want to kill these guys. Ashburn the flare. Yeah. Definitely want to kill the champion and elite packs. There's another one right here. Doom hack. Just got hacked up, yo. I would socket four cham and a four socket blue armor. <laughs> Cannot be frozen, cannot be frozen, cannot be frozen. Will it work like that? Actually, does that, is that what it does in the armor, or is it just the helmet? I think it does it in the armor, too, right? There's not an armor that uses cham, is there? For a rune word. Unless I'm forgetting something. Lord Greybush says, ah, nice. Yeah. Terrorize chaos. I should probably just, like, join games for this. Because... I could level up, actually, then. Rare Chain Boots. Check those later. And Shadow Spell. Uh, okay. Time is it? It's 3.30. Hmm, I am going to have to get going, I think, soon, because I'm going to have to take care of some stuff in real life. Oh, there he is. I was going to say, who's slowing me down so much? It was that guy. One to Blade Fury on those. Runwalk, Cold Res, five decks. 39 Cold Res. Nothing else really though, so. Oh, the guy's immune to physical, so I'm not leeching from it all, at all. And so is that guy. Blackheart the Impaler. And he drained all my mana. And they're immune to lightning, so my mercenary isn't doing anything. There we go. Amped him. Whoops. Won't let me pick it up. There we go.
I don't want him to get knocked off the edge this time, because that was annoying. There we go. Where, why are they so far back there? Like, come on. Grand visit there. Jeez, it took it t took kind of a while. Okay, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Bile white. Oh, gosh. And man is constantly drained in this area. Okay. Problem on that. I can't carry anymore. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I could get him and uh That was close. That was so close. There we go. Woof. I got a little too was a little too risky there. There's Terrorize Diablo. 88 Flame Rift. Storm Strike. It's got Pierce on it. Cold Kill. Hatchet. 40 Cold Damage. Ice Blast and Frost Nova when struck. It's kind of like... Kind of like a mini voice of reason, you know. All right, I think I'm gonna um, take a break, guys. There because I've been going for a while. I got some stuff to take care of. Found some really good bases. Made some nice trades today. I got like an um rune. I got a pull rune. Two burr runes off of just trading things that I found which is pretty sweet so alrighty I appreciate you guys hanging out and stuff it was nice to talk to you again as always and uh, I, I don't know if I'll be back on later today or not kind of depends how the rest of the day goes for me but um, 